everyone. Uh, after all that performance and all that energy of the Amor group and the uh, Daniel group just now, I know which group I belong to. The easier work for that, right? <laughs> of course, to well, Anasio, as my Korean friends will say, and in Jamaica will say, Wagwan. So your answer after Wagwan should be the word Ayri. So Wagwan? Alright, so Ayri means everything is good and that's what it means today. All is well, beautiful, beautiful performances. And we thank you for inviting us here. And the reason that we actually were so happy to be a part of it, when we saw the Beyond Race, We're All One, it actually resonates with us because in Jamaica, our motto is out of many, one people. So basically, you're all Jamaicans. The moment you come in, in the presence of a Jamaican, you're adopted. So you're all Jamaicans tonight, okay? Good? So we're gonna be showing you a video because we're not gonna do a performance tonight. We actually did not have enough time to do a preparation for that, but next year, I promise you, we'll have a performance for that, okay? So, just a few facts about Jamaica so you'll be prepared for this video. Who here knows who Jamaica is? Of course, don't raise your hand because I'm going to call you out. You don't know, okay? All right, so you do know where Jamaica is, right? It's in the Caribbean, just a few miles away from the tip of Florida. It's the largest English-speaking uh, country in the, in the Caribbean. And of course, it has lots of famous things, and you will see some in the video. So, one of the things that I would mention right now is the largest English-speaking country in the Caribbean. And as I mentioned before, the motto is out of many, one people. Now, Jamaica is famous for its one of its rum, and it's the most expensive rum in the world. Famous for one of its coffees, of course, the Blue Mountain Tea Coffee. It's the rarest, one of the rarest coffees in the world, and also one of the most enjoyed. And of course, who knows who say boat? Yes, the fastest man in the world, and of course, Shalian Fraser Price, the fastest woman in the world. So Jamaica is not only the birthplace of reggae, but also the sprint factory of the world. And this fact you may not know, that Jamaica was the creation, that's where Ian Fleming wrote the James Bond series, started there. The first one was done there, and of course the last one was also done part in Jamaica. So you will see some of these facts on the, on the video following, and of course, is the homeland of everybody in the world. Every nation is in Jamaica. Koreans, Chinese, everybody is in Jamaica. That's what we said, out of many one people, and we're little, but we tell Okay, so please enjoy the video. Pretend, fame of Jamaica. If you had to choose just a handful of famous names to represent your nation, would you include the athlete known for his incredible speed? Maybe the freedom-fighting musician that favored peace, happiness, and marijuana. How about the bombastic reggae fusion singer? Usain Bolt, Bob Marley, and Shaggy aside, there are many notable names that hail from Jamaica, including proponent of the pan-Africanism movement, Marcus Garvey, folklorist and writer, Louise Bennett Coberly, or Miss Lou. One of the top five fastest female sprinters, Shelly Ann Fraser Price, and retired basketball Hall of Famer Patrick Ewing. And who can overlook football stars like Rolando Aarons and Raheem Sterling? For those seeking a taste of some Jamaican YouTubers, be sure to check out the soccer centric Javier Nathaniel, Yacht Boys, and Acom Entertainment. Number 9 Cuisine of Jamaica. When a country's local cuisine has been influenced by a mess of different cultures, you're often left with a crazy selection of different foods that somehow all fuse together nicely. That's Jamaican cuisine in a nutshell, as you can go from enjoying something as spiced as curry seasoned goat to sweeter tropical fruits like jackfruit. Early Spanish settlement introduced dishes like Escobeach fish before Chinese influence crept in and introduced more Asian flavors. Some common cuisines to Jamaica include ackee and saltfish, jerk chicken, and corned beef. You may also come across Jamaican patties made from beef, chicken, or saltfish, rundown, or salt mackerel and coconut milk or cream, or a selection of bread and pastries like grater cake, spice bun, and bullet cakes. Number 8. Jamaican Patois Welcome to Jamaica! No, it's not some delicious French dessert. Patois is actually the local dialect heard throughout Jamaica, also known locally as Jamaican Creole. Everything in the house, no, no. Let me talk about everything. Everything. No bed, no, 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 no. The 
derived from English, Patois bears heavy influence from West Africa, especially from African slaves that were brought to Jamaica during the 17th century. Though you recognize some standard English words in Patois, the language is vastly different, featuring only 21 phonemes compared to English's 44, and between 9 and 16 different vowel sounds. Also, unlike English, Patois doesn't offer the benefit of tense indicators like ED, instead using invariant particles like E and, and A, which are unable to stand on their own. While much of Patois vocabulary is African in origin and some is pulled from English, small portions were borrowed from Spanish, Hindi, Arabic, and Portuguese vocabulary, as well as Irish and Scottish dialects. One behind. Number seven, ahead of its time. For an island tucked in the midst of the Caribbean, it's quite an innovative, and not just regionally to the Caribbean either. Though some countries have been enjoying the benefits of a public railway transportation system for quite some time, in 1845, the British colony of Jamaica built the Railways of Jamaica, marking the first line open outside of Europe and North America, along with some of the other firsts that Jamaica achieved. It was the first country in the Caribbean to gain its independence, launch its own website, monitor literacy, and most importantly, become featured on Snapchat. It's also believed that Jamaica had running water and electricity before many cities in the United States and had a series of phone lines so sophisticated that AT&T copied it for their own American setup. Number six, religion of Jamaica. Outside of Vatican City, Jamaica is known for having the most churches per square mile, typically averaging about 2.75 religious establishments to cater to the majority of Protestant and Roman Catholic Christians. The country is comprised of approximately 64% Christian followers, and while that far surpasses the 29,000 plus Rastafarians, Rastafarianism is the largest indigenous religion to Jamaica. Hidden beneath all of this religious faith, however, is the history of Obia, a form of alleged sorcery and witchcraft initially developed by West African slaves. Obia spread to Jamaica during the 18th century and wasn't really frowned upon until Taki's War, during which an Obia man, or Obia witch doctor, was caught providing the rebels with information. Obia was made illegal, and anyone caught practicing it would be jailed or flogged. Although the archaic laws that limited practice of the voodoo-like religion were since repealed in 2013. Number 5. Port Royal Depicted in the Pirates of the Caribbean series as a riotous and insanely lawless place for the Caribbean's undesirables to converge, Port Royal was, well, exactly that. Nicknamed the most wicked and sinful city in the world, Port Royal was once a place station for pirates and the largest city in the Caribbean. Though it survived years of piracy, even serving as a place of execution for the brigands, it proved no match for Mother Nature. In June of 1692, after the city had experienced a growth in population and construction, an earthquake collapsed much of the northern section. A second destructive earthquake in January of 1907 demolished much of the rebuilt city, liquefying more of the unstable sand. Port Royal stands today as a redeveloped tourist attraction, complete with 17th century elements of a once bustling port. Number 4. Prehistoric People of Jamaica Before pirates and slaves inhabited the lands of this Caribbean tropical beauty, Jamaica was home to a series of indigenous colonies dating as far back as 4000 BC. Long before the Arawak people were known to inhabit the Caribbean island, Jamaica was occupied by the cave-dwelling Guanahanabe. The Guanahanabe, or Chiboni, were a Caribbean tribe believed to have stemmed from the Taino people and were inhabitants of western Cuba. At around 300 AD, Jamaica saw the arrival of a second group of prehistoric people, the Saladoi, or Igneris. Later found to be an early wave of the Arawak from South America, the Saladoids brought a skill for ceramics. By 650 AD, the Taino traveled from Venezuela to Jamaica and absorbed and enslaved the Saladoi before eventually assimilating into Arawak culture themselves. Number three, Jamaica in sports. We briefly mentioned Jamaica's claim to athletic fame, Usain Bolt, but there's more to the country's athletics than the award-winning sprinter. Many sports make up Jamaica's most popular, but among them you'll likely hear most about track and field, football, cricket, and in most recent years, basketball. As eight-time Olympic gold medalist Bolt proved, the country is serious about its sprinting, but the Jamaican national football team has also proven to be a prolific team of athletes. In 1991, 1998, 2005, 2008, and 2010, Jamaica's football team won the Caribbean Cup. Also in 1998, they reigned over Japan in that year's FIFA World Cup. 
A bit more successful than its football team is the National Cricket Team, which has pulled ahead in 10 regional 4A competitions and 7 WCB Cups. Maybe more surprising than all of this is the Jamaican bobsled team, which competed in the 1988, 1992, 1994, 1998, 2002, and 2014 Winter Olympics. I'm just trying to be the best I can be. So am I. And the best I can be is Jamaica. Number two, Jamaican world records. As mentioned previously, Jamaica takes its sprinting seriously, which is why it currently holds the men's record for the 100, 150, and 200 meter dashes. Of course, that record goes to Usain Bolt, but he's far from the only impressive Jamaican out there. In fact, local Christopher Taylor took the 400 meter dash record for the under 18 boys age group, beating out 15 year old Karate James's prior record by 0.01 seconds. Beyond sports, Jamaicans also hold the record for the most books donated to charity in a week, with over 65,700 books. In September of 2016, Isaiah Triforce Johnson broke the record for most wins against Tetrabot in Tetris Ultimate in a 24-hour time period, earning 614 wins. Number 1. Jamaican Independence on August 6th of each year, Jamaica celebrates its own Independence Day. But an independence from whom, you ask? Prior to becoming its own sovereign state after a series of rebellions and the formation of the local political parties of the People's National Party and Jamaica Labour Party, the island was colonized by the British. Actually, the Spanish Empire took it first from the indigenous people. But after 146 years of Spanish rule, the British were sure to snatch it and add it to its collection of colonies. Ultimately, Jamaica owes its independence partially to World War II, which created the decolonization movement. In 1962, the Jamaica Independence Act was passed by the United Kingdom, though it remained within the Commonwealth. 